Hello, my gorgeous Sagittarius. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all, all feeling fantastic. For those that are new to, to this channel, including those that are returning and cross watchers, a very warm, very, very, very warm welcome. All right, so um, for this week, I will be using the Cara Marchetti Tarot and the Silver Moon Witchcraft Tarot. If you do like these cards, if you do like the illustration of these cards, um, I have put direct links in the description box below. Um, and they're just direct links where you can just purchase one or both decks and be proud owners or owner of these decks. I've also put in the description box below other direct links that Gigi uses and that I use as well, different types of decks that we highly recommend. And of course, by the end of this reading, if you do like it, if it resonates, if it kind of speaks to you, I do encourage you to subscribe Sagittarius. That way you never, ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every single Wednesday without fail. So every Wednesday, Gigi does a reading for you. I do a reading for you. And they're all uploaded in your dedicated playlist, always from the latest. So the newest to the oldest videos. All right. One announcement before we start. If you did miss out on the early bird discount for our online master tarot course, do not fear, we are having a Christmas sale. So if you go to the description box below again, um, I have put your special uh, discount code for Christmas along with a direct link to our website that will take you straight to the course. So you do have a discount there. It's kind of like a holiday Christmas sale. Um, as a reminder, it is a pretty in-depth course. It is 100% online, self-paced, lifetime access, downloadable videos if you want, downloadable workbooks. And of course, Gigi and I are always here to support you along the way. We answer every single email. So there you go. Um, you haven't completely missed out. The link is um, below to our website and your special discount code. Just enter that and you will get your discount. So there is still time. You don't have to pay full price. Sagittarius, for today, I want to talk about immediate love messages. I'm, I was feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit hurried. Um, I usually pick up some messages or I work with my spirit team over the weekend, especially Sunday. It's a quiet day for me. And I started to feel very anxious and I'm like, it's like messages that they want you to be aware of that needs your attention, that needs your analysis for the very, very near future, Sagittarius. So what is the heads up for you? Who is coming towards you? What are the changes? What would your spirit team like you to know for the immediate love messages? Here we go. My gorgeous Sagittarius. Ooh, excuse me. What do we have? Six of Wands. Leo energy looks like something's going to work out for you. Perhaps you want something to work out with a particular person or dare I say it? Yeah, someone wants to work something out with you. They don't want you to get away just yet. There is hope. All right, three more, two more. Last one. All right, Sagittarius, here we go. Let's do this. Bottom of the deck, someone is coming towards you. Look how they're looking straight at you. The Emperor, Aries energy, the divine masculine, or better known as all the kings wrapped up into one. The king of kings, the true leader, right? Now, of course, this person can be any gender, right? Because they're only pulling out, what I'm pulling out is the energy here of, I want to take control of this. I've got very emperor energy, any age, any star sign. But this is someone that is looking straight at you. I mean, look at the intensity of the emperor stare straight at you. They know what they're doing. There's going to be a very pre-calculated, very like strategic moves, big, bold moves toward you. They've got their eye on you. That's probably why we saw the six of wands. Yep. They don't want you to be single, I tell you that. This is someone that's very independent, very ambitious. There's a high focus perhaps on their studies, their finances, their work. So Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. It's often known as a very independent singles card. But this person's coming towards you with the intention is, mm, I don't want Sagittarius to be single. Whoa, my Lord, look what you've got. Now you've got the Empress. Taurus Libra energy. Now this is the Divine Feminine. Who is this? All the queens wrapped up into one. The queen of all queens here. A cornucopia of blessed opportunities. The most fertile card. The most abundant card. And of course, the most creative card. That's the most ambitious card here. And smack bang in the middle is, well, the singles card, right? 
well, well, well. This is the perfect match, even if it's a same-sex relationship, does not matter. The tarot is representing both of you as the perfect match. That's how they're seeing it, at least. But look at this, perhaps they don't know how to approach you, so it's like, you know what, I don't know if this is the right thing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Seven of Cups, Scorpio Energy. And the Seven of Wands, Leo Energy. I feel like this person may, oh yeah, they love you. Look at that. The King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. A cup for them and a cup for you. I like, we've got very grown up, mature energy here for you. This person knows you, they're eyeing you out. I'm wondering if you have history with them or not. I, I will usually find out once we get to the main spread. Eh, I think they're wondering, do you have options? What if you're not sure about this person? And they're thinking, well, should I approach Sagittarius today or should I send them a gift? Should I just ask them out, email, phone call, FaceTime, in person? I'm not sure, but they're sensing a bit of, not defensiveness, perhaps it's a bit of you're guarded, you're a bit closed off, your walls are up, your barriers are tight. This is someone that knows that once they know you're 100% single or there's a chance that they will fight for you. Because why? There are some things in life worth fighting for and it appears, Sagittarius, you are worth it. Absolutely. Main spread, please. Six of Wands again. There you go. There's a reason why certain cards come out. Leo Energy. I absolutely love this card. It's actually the minor arcana of uh, the chariot, which is all about this beautiful victory. This personal victory put you up on a pedestal. I can see that this person, perhaps they're seeing that you're getting a lot of attention, perhaps for work, you're advancing in your career, you're creating waves. And they're like, well, I want to be in on it. I don't want to share Sagittarius <laughs> at all because anyone can pick up, you know, Sagittarius and hold their hand and replace me. I see that something absolutely is going to work out between the both of you. It's going to take time, obviously, but they're realistic about this. I love seeing the sixes because they're all about peace, balance and harmony. Here we go. The worst of the worst is behind you, Sagittarius. We've got the world. We've got Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy. This person may even be at a distance from you. Literally, there could be even a couple of hours drive. There could be interstate overseas but that doesn't matter because here they come they're doing something that's going to work out between the both of you the worst of the worst is behind both of you even if there was a falling out even if we stopped talking this is closing the chapter it is known as a very lucky card it's a very good omen and the fact that the world made an appearance Sagittarius this person brings a fresh new start for you they literally think the world of you the world is your oyster all those things that have the world it is for you. So it appears that we have a successful brand new start with this person. Beating heart of the reading is the Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This person may be widowed. They could be separated, divorced. I'm hearing that there's a lot of family around this person. They've got a lot of friends. But look at that. The Queen is looking to the past. Sword is pointing up. Open, honest communication, but her eyes are closed. So I feel like this person has been keeping this in for a while. They would absolutely love to talk to you. Just lay everything on the table and say, Sagittarius, you know what? Before the year ends, I need you to know how much I really, 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 really care about you. If it was up to them, they'd probably say how much they love you. Perhaps I don't want to scare you off, though. I'm hearing that they're going to be inviting you out. I'm hearing dinner, drinks. For some of you, who is this person? I'm hearing it could be a friend, a colleague, an acquaintance, like a friend of a friend. They've known you for a while, though. Ooh, they're gathering their thoughts, Four of Swords. Libra energy. This is all about rest, recuperation, recovery, gathering their thoughts. The Fours are all about the platform, our stability. We're planning for the future and they're thinking, what do I say here? Mm. I think both of you have had a very interesting past because it appears here that Sagittarius, you've been hurt tremendously in the past and so has your person. Now, why do I say that? The Four of Swords is the aftermath. It's what happens after the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak. Everything is in its cycles. That's why I say that the worst of the worst is behind you and also this person. And now we're healing. This person actually wants to approach in a very gentle way. I'm wondering if they know what's happened to you. Despite that, they're gonna reach out to Wands, Aries energy. Ooh, should I stay? Should I go? I'm at a crossroads here. I'm gonna reach out because they're already reaching out to you. Doesn't matter which one they get. Everything points to you. They're going to step into the unknown. They don't know what you're going to say, but I, I'm actually really liking their energy here. Split the deck. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. This is the team makes the dream work. Absolutely. You could study with this person. You could work with them. Um, they could be somehow connected to your finances, even if they work at a bank or they come visit you and you work in a bank. 
boss, they could, yeah, they could be a boss, a manager, a CEO, startup. Mm, okay. This is someone that wants to be on your team. They have their eye on you and they're tired of holding this in. So my question to you, Sagittarius, do you have any idea who this person can be? Do you have an inkling, an idea? Because they're already looking at you and it's not, you know, uh, is it gonna happen? It's a question really of when. And I feel this is why we got these, your spirit team want you to know immediate energies because this is happening like it's on its way. And I feel like it's gonna happen like well before the end of the year. And there's not much left until the end of the year, Sagittarius. Three more, two more, last one. I feel like you've spoken to this person before, even if it's briefly, but you left a lasting impression. Four of Pentacles, ooh, Capricorn energy, they're planning and they are, I'm just gonna say, they are not letting you go. They've got their eye on no one else. They're not interested in anyone else. We've got another four here. Yes, they're holding things to themselves. They're not telling anyone. God forbid if they tell another colleague, they probably don't trust them. Word is gonna spread. They wanna do it properly here. I absolutely love their attitude. They're gonna do it. Wow, six of swords, Aquarius energy. Here they are moving towards you ever so slowly, but they're doing it. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You got the best card. Ooh, Leo energy with the sun. Pure happiness, joy, bliss, blessings, the return of health on all levels, not just for this person, but also for you and illumination. Everything is going to be revealed. And yet they're wondering with the Queen of Pentacles, there's a Seven of Cups again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy. I don't know how Sagittarius feels, if they're even emotionally available. And the best thing to do is talk to Sagittarius with the Ace of Swords. The Six of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Wands. That's interesting. Aquarius energy. Two messages I'm getting. One, Sagittarius. I feel here that some of you may have trust issues. And if you do, if we're not really trusting people, it's like, this sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? I don't blame you because I can see here that both of you are in the phase of the Four of Swords, the aftermath. You see, this is all about lying, cheating, stealing, someone hurting you, being cheated on, being cheated by a certain individual. Sorry, I just knocked the tripod there. So we're hiding behind that tree. It's like, uh, is it safe to come out? That's why I'm thinking this is going to work out. It's going to be a successful relationship, but it's going to take time. Perhaps we don't like feeling vulnerable or once again, we're giving our heart to someone. Please don't hurt it. Don't trample on it. One thing here is that your person is secretly thinking about you. So sneaky ways, yes, but not in a bad way. They're kind of in a very sneaky way thinking, how can I approach Sagittarius? How can I let my feelings be known to them? Because they can't stop looking at you. I can, they're probably also trying to find you online. They're probably already a friend or following you. The world please is clarified. Eight of Pentacles, this is the work card. Interesting Virgo energy. Wow, they're prepared to win you over. They're prepared to work on this, to redeem themselves. As I say, less talk, more action here. Being a bit of a busy bee, right? Earning your trust, love, and respect. They're prepared to put in the hard work, the love, the loyalty, the effort. Wow. And of course, this is a study card, a financial card, a work card here. Sagittarius, even think about places where you frequent. You may even just walk into a professional building um, and you always see that person or they're always seeing you but I feel like you've spoken to them. You know what they look like. You've seen them. You've looked in their eyes. Wow. Queen of Swords, please. Is Oh, the card of destiny, the wheel of fortune. The same fixed signs, just like the world card, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy. This is divine timing. It's your destiny where, you know, even your person's spirit team and your spirit team are working behind the scenes to make sure that you get a successful new chance, a new cycle, a new turn. We're at the top of the wheel and it's all going to happen once we have that conversation. It's that one conversation that leads to clarity here. Four of swords, please. It, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to gasp. I'm sorry. Um, it, wow, it takes a lot for me to gasp, but um, this is the emperor. They're thinking about you. Oh, okay. Out talking so much. Now I'm a little bit gobsmacked. I'm there. I know I can't talk. The sun's right there. 
they're pl- I knew it. I said they're planning. They're doing strategic moves. Something bold. It's, oh my God. All right. It, it literally, four of swords represents four weeks, one month. And then boom, here they come. Two of wands, please. It's the Knight of Wands, the second fastest moving energy in, uh, sorry, the second fastest knight. And that is Sagittarius energy. It's often known as Mr. or Mrs. Wright, the knight in shining armor. Here I come. Oh my God. And what's leading them is that they believe in you. There's love, there's passion here. Messages, changes, offers, transitions. It's all because they take that first step. Split the deck, Six of Cups, Scorpio. Energy, excuse me. This is not someone from your past. This is someone that you had a past life connection with. There may be children involved. Either you have children, they have children here, but they can't stop thinking about you. And here they come. If you believe in reincarnation, Sagittarius, I'm here to tell you that you've been together, even as friends or lovers in the past life, and now you are meeting again. This has all been orchestrated. It's pre-planned and it's being guided here by your spirit team. I'm just lost for words. Is this the one? I'm going to say yes. I know it's a lot to say the one. You know, we're not depending our lives on meeting the one for us to be happy. But what I'm saying here is that you don't have to look too far now. This literally, I'm going to say it, it definitely could be the one. It reminds me of the reading I did for Gemini. This is someone that's not going to waste your time. They want to put in the work. And this is someone that is very mature, very grown up. They're ambitious and they want to take care of you. They've got a good head on their shoulders. They're not time wasters. They're not going to cheat on you. Sagittarius say yes, because to be honest, this is a good person. They have a very good soul. This is why I was feeling hurried and I even feel anxious now. <laughs> you're, probably, you're probably picking it up. Um, it's like, you know, my spirit team saying, go, go, go. Sagittarius has to know this. This is what's happening in the immediate future and all will be clear. Everything will be clear just for you and only you. Say yes. Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Power to you. Never change for anyone. But get ready. This is going to be a beautiful, wonderful encounter. Bye.